the mailman left something special on my front porch. Wait, do I hear drums? Animals? What is that sound? Hmm, let's get this one inside and check it out. Let's see what's in the box, guys. Kind of excited about this one. I've been waiting for this one for a little while. So, let's see what it looks like. Okay, here is that great. Disney paper that they put in there, and the Jungle Cruise Skipper Pop. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've been really excited about this one. I think this is really cute. It's a big pop. I ordered this from Shop Disney. And the Jungle Cruise movie, of course, was due to come out, I think, this year, but they're postponing it starring The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, so I'm sure that'll come out at some point. But this is it. The Jungle Cruise Skipper Pop. Let me see if I can open that. Get it. Shop Disney, and I believe they still have them if you guys want to still try, try to order one. This is Funko Pop number 79, and it's part of the Pop Rod series. There's lots of nice artwork on the box on all sides, and the background picture that comes inside the box is really cute. It has lions, tigers, hippos, and tikis, along with two boats beside the banks of the river. The detail on this pop is really great. It's the Congo Queen, one of the original boats from Disneyland. It has the iconic striped canopy with the engine and the smoke or the steam coming out the top, the seats for guests on either side, and of course, our fearless skipper at the wheel under his safari hat. Walt Disney had hugely ambitious expectations for his Jungle Cruise attraction. He was inspired by a popular series of documentary films and shorts called Walt Disney's True Life Adventures. Particularly, he was captivated by the film The African Lion, which the Walt Disney Company had filmed in Kenya in 1952. With this production as a model, Bill Evans, who designed the landscape of the park and later most of Walt Disney World, was faced with putting a whole ecosystem in Adventureland. Early Imagineer Harper Goff was the lead for the project, and after many ideas had been explored, Walt originally wanted to have real animals on the Jungle Cruise, he modeled the attraction after one of the most popular movies of the day, 1951's The African Queen, starring Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn. The American Film Institute consistently picks this film as one of the top 100 of all time, but it was only two years old when developers broke ground on Disneyland on July 16, 1954. This ride is one of our favorites, excursions departing daily with a daring journey through perilous jungles, piranha-infested waters, ferocious beasts, and a close call with Trader Sam. And, of course, the funny, punny, 
Jungle Cruise skippers. Now, if you say that you don't like their jokes, well then, you're in denial. So, the next time you're homesick for the happiest place on earth, this Funko Pop can transport you there to beautiful Schweitzer Falls. You may never have seen it before. There it is, the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe and come hang out with us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. There's always room for one more. So, hurry back.